The most common negative SEO tactic. The most common method I see these days is building low quality spammy backlinks. Building a ton of low quality links to a competing site is also one of the most unsophisticated forms of negative SEO, which is good news as it means it has a less of effect on our website. However, as we want to become the best SEOs possible, it's always good practice to take action when you see an attack like this. Whether those spammy links come from cheap Fiverr gigs, Scrapebox comment spam or a link network, the result is the same, a sudden influx of dodgy links pointing to our site. So how spam links can harm your site? There are two approaches to link spam when it comes to negative SEO. The first is what we call the volume approach. So this is blasting thousands upon thousands of low quality links at your website. And the second is over optimized anchor text. So as we covered in the link building section of this course, it's extremely important we get the anchor text optimized and go for a natural approach. You don't want too many anchors of any anchor type. This strategy plays on that and over optimizes you for certain anchor text types. A competitor can also send a loads of irrelevant anchor text as well to try and confuse Google to what your website is about. However, both of these tactics are very easy to spot. Let's head over to SEMrush and I'll show you exactly how we can identify both these types of link spam. So I'm now over on SEMrush and I've searched for the website blesscbd.co.uk. So this is the website we're going to be looking at in detail when it comes to negative SEO. And the reason I picked this website in particular is because I was actually doing some keyword research a few weeks ago. And whilst carrying out my keyword research, I actually noticed that this website is indeed suffering from a negative SEO attack. Now, just to confirm, this isn't my website. I have no affiliation with this website whatsoever. I'm simply just going to be using it as an example to showcase how you can identify a negative SEO attack. So if we go back over to SEMrush and make sure we carry out a search for the website, ensure we have the right database selected. So as this website is a .co.uk, I've gone ahead and clicked the UK database. Now the easiest way to identify a negative SEO attack is to check the referring domains. So let's go ahead to the left hand side and click backlinks. And now just to confirm and to rejig your memory, a referring domain is essentially a backlink from a unique website. So if a website has 100 referring domains, then what that means is 100 unique websites linked to this website. So if we scroll down and look at the referring domains chart, we can see that in October 2019, the website had 125 referring domains. Fast forward to November, it had 154. Fast forward to January or February 2020, it had 277 referring domains. So as you can see, it's kind of going up gradually, 125, 154, 181, 232, 277, 298. And then for some reason in March 2020, it jumped up from 298 all the way up to 8,600. So as you can see from the whole chart, this isn't really the natural pattern the website has been following for the previous years. So this is a signal that the website could indeed be suffering from a negative SEO attack. Now this would be the first type of negative SEO attack we referred to, which was the volume approach. So a massive influx of backlinks pointing to your website. Now, of course, this website could have invested in SEO in March, which is why they've got tons of backlinks every other month going forward. But if you do own this website and you didn't invest in any SEO or any backlinks, then this is a very good sign that your website is indeed suffering from a negative SEO attack. Now, if you wanted to look at exactly what those backlinks are that are linking to your website to have this sudden increase, then what you need to do is go over to the backlinks tab, so once the page has loaded, what we want to do is download all of our backlinks and then review our spreadsheet in a bit more detail. And then we'll be able to see exactly what those backlinks are that led to the massive influx. So let's go ahead and export all of those backlinks. I will go for Excel. That has now downloaded the file. So let's go ahead and give this a open. So once you open the spreadsheet, it's going to look something pretty similar to this. Now, don't be overwhelmed. There is a lot of information SEMrush provides us with. However, we don't need all of these columns. So let's go ahead and delete the first column, page ASCO, that can be deleted. Let's go ahead and delete column E, which is going to be external links. We can delete from column E all the way up to column N, which is going to be site-wide. We don't need any of these columns. And we can go ahead and delete the last three columns as well, which is going to be last seen, new link and lost link. So let's go ahead and delete those columns. Let's zoom in now so you can see the information a bit better. And what I'm going to do is select the top row, which is the name of the headings, make that in bold, and then go to view and click freeze top row. And that will just ensure the columns stay at the top as I scroll. 
So what we want to do now is go back over to SEMrush and figure out exactly when this negative SEO attack happened. So let's go over to SEMrush, make sure we have the same domain plugged in, go to backlinks, and then make sure we are on the overview tab like we was before. Now, as we can see from the referring domains chart, all these referring domains were built in the month of April 2020. We know that because the referring domains was 298 in March, and then April, they jumped up to 8,600. So what that means is, is that in April, there was over 8,000 backlinks built to this website. So what we want to do is go back to our spreadsheet and filter our date column, which is first seen. Let's filter that by A to Z. That's now going to organize all the backlinks by when SEMrush first spotted them, for example, the 5th, 2019. And then we simply want to scroll down till we see the date, which is going to be 2020, which is April 2020, and is essentially going to match up with the referring domains chart. So I'm going to scroll down now and find that date and see all the backlinks that were built, which has led to the negative SEO attack. So let's scroll down and we can see we're now in 2020. We wanna scroll down until we find the fourth or in the second. Let's zoom in a little bit more as well, just so you can see that. And you can now see, we can see all the backlinks built in April 2020. So the source URL is the page which is linking to this website. The target URL is the page which the source URL links to, and the anchor text is the anchor text this source URL uses. So essentially, you can see all of these backlinks right here. We've got some from rozip.tpl or tlp.info. We've got some from blog Unitel Direct. Tons and tons of websites are linking to this website all in the month of April. Now, if you didn't build any of these backlinks, then this is a very good sign indeed that this is going to be a negative SEO attack. Now, it's really important to note as well that if your blog post has gone viral, for example, then this can also lead to a massive influx of backlinks. However, if you haven't had any blog posts go viral in the last few months, then it's very likely that the massive influx of links your website is getting is going to be from a negative SEO attack. So now we've covered the first method, it's time to cover the second most common negative SEO attack, which is over-optimized anchor text or irrelevant anchor text. So this is essentially where websites link to you and they all use the same anchor text, which you're trying to target, which may be your target match keyword. It could be using an anchor text, which is completely irrelevant to your website. So the main aim here is to try throw Google off and confuse Google what your website is actually about. So we can very easily identify this using SEMrush. Now for the purpose of this example, I'm going to be using a website called seriespr.co.uk, which is actually a food marketing agency based in the United Kingdom. Now, once again, I do not own this website. I have no affiliation with this website whatsoever. I'm just going to be using it as an example for this training video. So what we're going to do is take the website and plug it into SEMrush and simply carry out a search for this website. I'm going to go ahead and click the UK database as the website is obviously a.co.uk. So once the information has loaded, what we want to do is go over to the backlinks tab, just like we did before. And then what we want to do is go over to the tab which says anchors. This is now going to show us all the anchor text which this website has. So we can see in total that it has 422 different types of anchor text. We've got series, which is a brand name. We've got series PR. Again, another variation of the brand name. We have the URL. We've got series PR together, series partnership. We have another URL and so on and so on. Now, if we go over to the top where it says top anchor terms, this will actually give us an overview of all of the anchor text this website has. So we can see that series, again, which is a brand name, this is mentioned 31% of the time, which is pretty much natural as it's a branded name. There's 444 links which mention series in the anchor text. Viagra, which is a very interesting one indeed, this is mentioned 14% of the times. Now, we've got another weird anchor text as well. 10% of the time, we've got online and we've got buy, which both have 7% and 5%. Now, out of the top five most used anchor texts, only one of them is actually relevant to the business. The other four is completely irrelevant and has no relevancy to what the website offers at all. Now, remember, the website is about food marketing. However, four of the top five anchor text terms are completely irrelevant. So this is a really good example of where someone has carried out a negative SEO attack on this website and they've tried to throw Google off and confuse Google to what the website is actually about. 
Now, if you want to see what these websites are, which are linking to you, which use these irrelevant anchor text terms, you can simply scroll down to the chart below. And when you find a mention of an irrelevant anchor text, such as this one right here, Viagra discount, you can actually go ahead and click the number, which is going to be free. And essentially what this does is it tells you that you have free links linking to your website, which mention that as an anchor text. And SEMrush actually shows you all of those websites which are linking to you in the first place. So now you know how to spot the most two common negative SEO attacks. In the next video, I'm going to show you exactly how to deal with these attacks and protect your website. I'll see you there.